All right, so we're gonna try and do this unboxing of the mirrors that we got for my dad's side-by-side. It's a 2023 Mule Pro FXT. I think pretty much if you have roll bars that are about that size, less than two inch roll bars, then it'll probably fit on pretty much anything like that so they're from kemi moto utv side mirrors and rear view mirror so i am hoping that it'll clear the bar that's in the center but we're going to find out today so let's step back So this one's the left one, has L on it. There's the mirror. It's got multiple different ones for different size roll bars. And then there's your hardware. So it should be four bolts. <laughs> so it shouldn't be anything too complicated in theory. Everything seems to turn into an ordeal when I'm working on stuff, so we'll see how that goes, but it should be pretty easy. That one is the right side. Should be pretty obvious when you go to put them on, to be fair. And there's this one. This is an Allen wrench. And your mirror. And your brackets. And some tape. All right, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see this pretty good, but this comes with, this is the part for the rear view mirror. And it's got these little pieces right here, little plastic pieces. And they go on this deal and this clamps on your roll bar. So it's got like a little end right there and then an open end on that side. So it'll just slide into here and then it'll kind of fit just like that and you'll have all these four pieces total you've got this double stick tape so i believe you're supposed to put the double stick tape on the inside of this and then stick it down so then it stays in place so i'm gonna do that right now It's probably easiest just to take this completely apart. It comes with this Allen wrench, but you have the Allen wrench or the bolts that mount the mirrors. They go through here. It does not have that Allen wrench. So that Allen wrench is a five millimeter. I'm not sure what this one is, honestly, but it comes with it, so it doesn't really matter but the other one doesn't come with a five millimeter. So you'll need a five millimeter wrench or in this tool set right here, it is an H5, which is five millimeter. So if you got a tool set like that, then it will be H5 or it will be just a five millimeter wrench like those. So I don't know if mine just didn't come with one or if none of them come with one, to be honest, because I only have mine. So you may or may not have one in yours, but, and you'll need two of them probably because you'll have to tighten it. It's 
Allen wrenches on each side of it. So it started raining, so I had to move the UTV inside, which is not convenient because it's not as bright inside as outside anyway. So I ended up getting those pieces installed. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But I just stuck them up here on the roll bar for now. And I put the double stick tape on there and I just have it clamping. As uh, so when you put double stick tape on, you're supposed to let it set up against it, like hold it in place for a bit. So I ended up just doing it that way while I do the rear view or the side mirror install stuff. And the side mirror stuff, so my dad's has a front windshield, so you just loosen this bracket up and you'll be able to take the front windshield and pull it out if you have a front windshield if you don't have a front windshield then you don't have to do this but so there's two different kinds of clamp things there's a two inch one and then there's a inch and 1.75 inches or one and three quarters inches so this one fits perfectly around here kind of like it's probably kind of what it's supposed to be but it'll slide around and if you try and put it came with all these rubber bits like that to try and hold them in place so if you try and use one of those on there then it's too small so i'm going to use the two inch one is this one and I used one, two of the rubber things. So if yours is the same as mine, then, or my dad's, then you'll have a rubber piece left over. So we're gonna see if that works. If it ends up causing an issue, then we'll add another one in there. But it seems like it'll stay in place, but you just don't want it to move. So, and then the more rubber things you have in it, the more this is gonna flare out and you're gonna have to pull it in more. So, these will have different diameters depending on what your model is probably. But we're gonna see if that'll work. Hopefully this rain doesn't get too loud on the metal roof. But. I'm gonna try and get this side mirror installed. And if you end up, so it comes with these and it's a five millimeter on each side and it conveniently comes with this, which in can unconven inconveniently does not fit that. And it's too small. It's like a four millimeter or something. So I have a five millimeter wrench, and then this is an H5, which you're not gonna be able to see probably. And so five millimeter, five millimeter, and then it should be able to tighten them up. But there's just two, two of these bolts hold on each side. So not too complicated. So I'm gonna try and Get that put on there. Move that up a scotch. This will only go in one side, so the other side's smaller, so I got this, and it'll slide in there, and the rain's really coming down, so <laughs> slide in there, I'm gonna take this one, put it over here.
I couldn't see that, but that hit like right there. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. <laughs> so I've got that installed. It's not moving, so I should be good. If it ends up moving or something, then I may try and put some like 3M uh, tape, like double stick tape inside of here to try and hold it into place. But right now that's working. Earlier when I was trying it, then this was too thick if I put this other rubber piece in there. So once it's clamped on for a bit, maybe it'll kind of seat in and then it might be, but I know it's not moving, so I mean that <laughs> seems to be a mission accomplished for me. So I've got the the bracket the way it is. And I might try and move it down just a little bit more, but it's hard to tell if that's gonna be in the way or not. And really if you wanted it further down, in theory you can mount it upside down. Technically this is the left side, but if you wanted it the other way, then I guess technically you could flip sides and then push it, like put it down if you're wanting it further down, but I think that should be good. The way we sit in here, then that'll be below our field division anyway, so I don't think it's gonna matter. This will try the other side. All right, so I've already done one of these, so <laughs> should be pretty easy. So two inch one, and we'll get two. So there's different kinds of rubber pieces. These are just your standard like rubber pieces, but this one's got a little bit of a lip right there. So you'll take these rubber pieces and then you'll put that inside of that lip. And it'll kind of fit like inside that lip. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it kind of fits inside of that lip and then the way I was doing it, so if you have a front windshield, then you'll have to loosen that up and then kind of pull it out. And this thing makes it, to, I guess where it stays in place or <laughs> whatever. So you'll kind of pull it out of the way and then you should be able to kind of pull up on this or pull out on that front windshield. So the easiest way to do it is to put your rubber pieces around it first and then put this around it. Rain finally let up a little bit. And then slide your clamp over it. Otherwise you're gonna have to fight it. I was trying to do it the other way. Oh, and I flipped it the wrong direction. Okay. Yeah, you have to have it out, so. <laughs> Anyway, you want it on the outside. So, if you have the front windshield, then I was trying to get it down pretty far. I don't want it like right up against the other bracket, but you want it pretty far down. And then, same thing, I'll just have these. And then, it won't go on that side, it'll have to go, one side's bigger than the other one on these. So you'll have to put it the way that it wants it done, pretty much. Let's put it through.
So my advice on these is probably to put some Loctite on them. Once you get them set to where you want them, this is my dad's UTV, so I'm gonna ask his opinion on where he wants these positioned when he gets home. And it'll be easy to just move it up or down. Like there's only two bolts that hold these side mirrors on. So it'll be super easy to adjust them however he wants them. And you may want them higher up. I don't think you will, but <laughs> it'll probably, he'll probably want them down here. But once we figure out where they need to be for sure, then we'll put some Loctite on them. Because these threads are not very deep. So if they start rattling and stuff, they probably will try and work their way out. It's got like a washer and stuff in it. In theory, it'll kind of hold it in place, but you'll probably want some Loctite on it once you figure out exactly where you're gonna want it at, but. I think that's a pretty good spot. It's far enough down that I don't think it's gonna become an issue but then putting that back on you just pull it out but don't do it that way because that's the wrong no that is the right direction it's almost like i'm not a professional doing this all right so you put your little rubber piece back in there Tighten it down. So on our front windshield, then it's got that rubber. Not rubber, it's like foam. So you're not gonna have an issue with these mirrors. They're not super thick, so that's not a not a problem with the mounting. And I got it up high enough to where it's not gonna interfere with that. The other one's a little bit higher, so I may need to drop that one down, but seems to be doing mirror things successfully. So off to the rear view mirror. This may be kind of an ordeal because it has this grab handle right here, which a lot of UTVs, I don't think they have that grab handle. And we have one that's gonna mount on each side of it, which there's an alternative one where it only mounts in one spot. So we're gonna see if the two <laughs> mounting spot is gonna work. I kind of suggested doing the other one, but my dad wanted this one, so we're doing this one. And this one is wider than what the other one is. So it is, in theory better if you want a wider one and have it mounted on two different spots because the other one is not as wide as what this rear view mirror is going to be. But it would be easier to mount it uh, if it is just the single mounting because you could just mount it like over here potentially or mount it more biased over here but then it's gonna be in your face so you'll probably want to mount it over here and to be honest, there's not a whole lot of times that you're probably gonna need a rear view mirror to like super see where you're going. You'll just kind of glance up and see what's behind you. So I don't know how important a rear view mirror is gonna be to you, but the side mirrors will be nice because you'll actually be able to see like when you're backing up. So that'll be pretty nice. But And the rear view mirror when that stuff is up then you're kind of kind of going to be in your way but anyway i'm going to do the rear view mirror install now we'll see how that goes so i'm hoping you'll actually be able to see because i want to go outside and like just pull outside where you can actually have sunlight but it keeps raining constantly and it was raining so hard a second ago, I had to like literally stop filming and just wait because the rain was so loud on the metal roof. Anyway, so it comes with the, I don't know if you will able to see them, but it's like a, like a foam, foam on one side and then double stick tape on the other one. So instead of using these, I've got these rubber pieces left over. So 
once my dad confirms where he wants this at then i'll probably end up just kind of sectioning off part of this and cut it and then i'll use it to go on here and hold these in place for the rear view mirror and because you can put this foam on here but i i think this rubber is going to grip better because this like technically holds but i would like it to be like a little bit better than what this is so that's still i don't even see it but it's still moving a little bit so if i put this rubber piece on here then it'll hold it in place for sure and it'll be easy if we need to take it off and put it back on and stuff or adjust things on this rubber piece we can double up the rubber piece or whatever but i think that'll be the better option for this and you'll just use the allen wrench that it came with Probably a better option than doing what I'm doing right now, which is probably the hard way to be honest, is to mount these to this rear view mirror and then mount these to the thing, which is not what I'm doing, but oh well. Sometimes you gotta make it hard on yourself. It's just technically works it's probably just more annoying than it needs to be because i'm gonna try and shimmy this over and see if it's any better pretty much just getting a big uh big view of the roll bar it's like right up against it uh, that might work probably just kind of want to do the wiggle check <laughs> if it moves when you're wiggling it probably not tight enough but this is all like aluminum 
and it uh, is like decent quality, but probably not the best quality in the world. So if you end up tightening this too tight, then in my opinion, you probably want to just use the long end and then get it as tight as you can do it with the long end. Because if you turn it sideways and you try and crank down on this, it's probably going to mess up the threads. So in my opinion, then I would just leave it like the long way and then get it as tight as you can get it the long way. And that'll kind of be your torque spec because <laughs> pretty much as much as you can do it with the little short end, because you can get a lot more leverage on the long end, but that's probably going to strip it out in my opinion. So if you, just use the shorter end and try and turn it that way. That's probably about what the torque spec needs to be. So doing that, it's not moving. So I would just leave it like that. Then kind of flip it up where you want it to be. This has a face full of grab bar. So that's not ideal. But to be honest, I don't think it's going to work super good. <laughs> like you don't really need it to work amazing, I wouldn't think. So we may try and play with this and kind of get it where we want it to be. But that may be where it ends up living at. So, so there's that. We got that side mirror on, which is not where it, I still need to adjust it. And then that is where that one lives. It is doing side mirror things. It's still got the protective film stuff on there. So the image looks kind of wonky right now, but pretty easy install. Basically it's just those. You want the rubber thingy on there. I went with two of the rubber pieces and that was adequate doesn't move so mission accomplished on that and then this kind of an ordeal it's got these rubber things on here which i'll end up cutting those down once my dad says where he wants this for sure but yeah may or may not end up trying to acquire the single mounting one and then if it has like a longer deal, if it was down farther, maybe it'd be slightly better. But then again, if you get it too far down, then it's gonna be right in your face. So depending on how tall you are, then it's gonna be right in your <laughs> line of sight. So kinda pick your poison on that. Kinda sucks cause we can't really, like we don't really use the grab handle, but you can't, put it to it because the diameter is way too small so that's not really an option for doing that i guess you could move it further over that way but i don't know if you're going to be able to see as good from the driver's seat which is kind of the point so the passenger normally does not really need to be able to see behind you so that's not ideal but anyway hope you enjoyed the video Hopefully it kind of sheds some light on how this install goes. Wish it hadn't rained so much. That was kind of annoying, but oh well, it is what it is. So, if you have any questions, put it down in the comment section. I have zero issue with <laughs> whatever questions you have or anything like that. If you think I did something wrong, you can tell me that too, but it's a pretty easy install. I just takes time figuring out where you want everything to mount but and really there's like you can just loosen those up move it wherever you want <laughs> loosen those up move it however you want so as long as you have allen wrenches with you then you could really move it at any point if you decide it's in a spot that you don't want it so not not too complicated once you get everything kind of roughly where you want it to be so